Hey everyone, it's Becca Switzer with Roof Sales Mastery, author of Diamonds in the Sky. Today, we're gonna talk about how to get people to respect your price. And what I mean by that is how to stay firm in your price when you're working with people who are just kind of pushing the envelope or maybe they're hardcore semi-professional hagglers. And you know how it goes in our business, like they want you to eat the deductible or they want this free upgrade or they want you to do this for free just because you're out there. And as salespeople, I know the temptation is there. You're like, well, I want to keep this job and I want to make this customer happy. But you have to have enough respect for your price and you have to believe in the value that you're offering enough that you don't get pushed that way. Because if that keeps happening, first of all, your customers are not respecting you. They're getting away with highway robbery on you and you're costing yourself money. It's coming out of your bottom line. So I want to talk about a couple uh, mindsets or ideologies that kind of help customers put it into perspective. So if you get a customer that's like, you know, asking you, hey, can you do this, this for free? Like, hey, why don't you guys are doing the whole roof, the side and the gutters. Why don't you just do this for free? You can say, Mr. Jones, I totally appreciate it. I love a good negotiation, you know, as since I'm in sales and all. However, I don't think when I go to Home Depot and I say, hey, I'm buying, you know, 70 bundles of shingles. Can I get the next 15 for free? I think they would laugh me out of the store, right? So unfortunately, that's just not how it works. Um, I would love to do that. But, you know, let's not forget you're getting a sick deal either way. You know, you're already getting this entire job for the cost of your deductible. It doesn't get much better than that. And I promise we're going to do a really great job and make every single last penny of that $1,000 deductible worth it on this $25,000 job, right? Or whatever it is. You can also say, like, and the funny thing is I remember saying this once too. I had a good rapport with this customer, of course, but I was like, Jim or whatever his name was, I was like, if you went into work today and your boss said, hey, uh, you're scheduled from nine to five, but um, I'm actually only gonna pay you for nine to one. And I would just like those extra hours for free if you don't mind, that's gonna really help my bottom line. I don't think you'd be happy showing up to work that day, <laughs> right? So you can crack a joke like that. And then you can also say something like this, be like, Mr. Jones, I understand the temptation to haggle and see what we can get and stuff like that on, on these deals and whatnot, but here's the truth. Our company doesn't, we're not the most expensive and we're not the cheapest, but we charge a really fair, fair market price right in the middle. And because of that, I'm really confident asking for that price because I know people are getting a really good deal for it while not sacrificing quality or workmanship or anything like that. So I make sure like the price you're getting is the same price that my last 250 customers have gotten because everybody's getting the same deal. I would never treat you differently from my previous customer or from the next customer. Everybody is getting a great deal because they're getting our firm price that we don't haggle on that gets you great quality materials and workmanship. Okay, so you can say things like that. Don't be afraid. It's again, a talking about establishing boundaries, whether that's with your time or your price or what you're willing to do or whatever the case may be. So I hope that helps you guys here. I know some customers can be pretty tough and, and whatnot, but that should help you all. As always, subscribe to my YouTube channel here. Hit the bell so you get notifications every time I drop a new video. And check out RoofSalesMastery.com. If you want better word-for-word -word sales scripts, my word-for-word -word closing presentation, door knocking, referral scripts, all of that, I have it word-for-word. -word. It doesn't get much easier than that. You can follow my Roof Sales recipe to success. And uh, thousands and thousands of contractors have been using my stuff since 2014. It's the best stuff in the game. I stand by that. Girl Scouts honor. Love you guys. Keep it crunchy. We're going to catch you on the next one. Have a wonderful day out there. Bye.